I thought about the idea of how we often take our own self-worth or our own validation from how we imagine others see us. Hello guys, welcome back. Today we're going to be talking to Christine Showmaker. And Christine has a very, very interesting project. So let's just go back a little bit. And I would like to hear a little bit about your childhood because on your website, you briefly mentioned that you never liked having pictures taken of you. And then she went on to make this incredible project called Perceive Me, which is all about you and nude you. When I was working on my master's degree and when I realized I had an eating disorder is when I really started to look back at myself as a kid and look at instances where food was an issue or, um, or clothes or whatever it was. I, you know, and that's part of my art is the research part of it. How did you have the idea or like, was it like an aha moment that you had or was it like over the years that you felt a need to express you know, you, yourself through art. While working on and focusing on myself in through my art the last 10 years, every once in a while, like, I come up with this revelation. Like, I've probably only been asked out on a date 10 times by guys. And so I always took that, that I wasn't desirable, you know, that I wasn't attractive, that, um, that I was overweight. And, you know, through, again, advertising, through the history with friends through all of that, you know, I felt that nobody would like me. And so um, I thought about that and I thought about the idea of how we often take our own self-worth or our own validation from how we imagine others see us. And so I wanted to see myself through other people's eyes. And so that's kind of where the idea for Perceive Me came from. I invited 60 artists to paint, draw, photograph, and sculpt. Um, there's a videotape and 3D rendering of me nude. You said something really interesting on your website, and I'll let you to comment. You wrote for the, as a statement for the Perceive Me. Mm -hmm. Who are we in the eyes of other people? Does it matter? shouldn't matter. What do you look like? Are you beautiful, ugly, weird, crazy, sad, frumpy, glamorous, fabulous, dirty, depressed? Why do we take other people's opinions of ourselves so seriously? Why should we care? I cannot tell you how many times I ask myself this question. It's like, mm -hmm. why do we care? I think it's that validation. It's that idea of self-worth. You know, we want to be loved. But doesn't um, it should start from within? It should. <laughs> because then it's like whatever other people think of us, it's like that's their opinion. Yeah, yeah. At the end of the day, it's like, okay, now I know your opinion. Yeah. No, it's like we shouldn't care what other people think. You and know? why do we care so much? It's like the million-dollar question. Right. <laughs> and I don't expect them to be answered. You know, I... Uh, maybe I'm hoping that collectively the artist will help answer it, the audience will help answer it. Um, but I mean, I, I don't have all the answers for it. You know, it's a very personal project, so it's definitely about me, it's for me, it's by me. Um, but it's also a universal project because I know, as you said, a lot of other people are asking these questions and wondering what the answers are. It's my diary. It's my therapy. It's, you know, I'm putting it all out there, literally, figuratively, mentally. I was hoping for me that it would help me be comfortable in my skin, more comfortable, love myself more, you know, but it hasn't necessarily. Not, not yet. Not I don't know, maybe for a brief moment each time I met with the artist. You know, a lot of times, like, you know, meeting with all of the artists, I felt like a supermodel. You know, I like, I posed and so many of them told me that I was a great model. You know, I was just like, yes. you know, yeah, yeah, putting myself out there and enjoying it. And But then I saw the photos or, you know, and the photos were great. I mean, I love the photos as art, you know, or the artwork, whatever it was. I love them. I mean, every single one of them is unique, but I feel my fatness. I feel my weight. 
I feel that heaviness. I um, feel the pain of posing for a long period of time. You know, my back being sore, my legs being sore, my arms being sore. And so there's like the psychological aspect of that too that I'm having a hard time correlating with being a supermodel and having fun posing. Do you see a change in the way that you perceive yourself because that we finally see, you know, the, the ads are a little more diverse today? Yeah. It's really interesting because I now compare myself to those ads, <laughs> you know, to the diverse ads, to the even, you know, the other plus size women, um, you know, who are models who, because I thought, you know, oh, I could do this. But I'm like, those plus size women, they don't have double chins. You know, their legs are thin. They're, you know, even though they're plus size, you know, they're still beautiful. Beauty is this very loaded word. It's like so ingrained in our society. It's a currency um, today. Yeah, yeah. I would love to change it somehow to, I don't know, to to blow it up or something. I don't know. I mean, and that is why the exhibition for Perceive Me, it's traveling to right now mostly colleges uh, because I'm trying to start with the young, trying to start with the kids. You know, I want to like work with the gender studies class. I want to, you know, I want these kids to see the exhibition and see that it's okay to be who you are. Um, I'm still trying to figure that out myself. It's always a work in progress. You know, people call me brave. I want to show people to not be afraid to be who you are. And I think that may be the biggest message of the whole project is, you know, about being authentic, being yourself. And also... Because this is know, all we have, is to be who yeah, we are. Yeah. You know, because what pe other people do is like they just... They project their own insecurities onto other people. Yeah, you know, if yes. they're fat phobic or if they transphobic or whatever phobic that they are, yeah, this is yes. their agenda yeah. projected onto someone else. Yeah. What if I was thin? How would my art change? You know? And so I know, like over the years, I've thought about fat as an armor for many different things, whether it's like emotional, psychological, whether it is just protecting me you know, from what's out there. Would you say that your art, it's about self-love? I think it's about trying to find self-love. I can't say that I love myself right now. So I think it is, it's like a search for self-love. And I know that goes beyond just the body too. You know, I know it goes to many other things. I mean, doing the project has definitely made me look inside myself more. I feel like the same person from when I started. So I don't know, I don't see the change yet. You know, hear from other people how much it's meant to them. I think I'll see that change in myself and in others. What's your goal with the Perceive Me? To talk about, you know, how your body affects you, whether it's body positivity or, and it doesn't matter if you're plus size or if you're super thin, you know, it, I've heard from so many people that they don't like their body, whatever they look like. And so it's like, where does that come from? Why? You know, why are we so fixated on our bodies? You know, that's the big thing. And so by using my body and my art and drawing attention to it, the idea of, of our body in general, then, you know, I don't know, maybe that'll inspire others, empower others. I mean, I think that's the goal, is to empower others um, in one way or another. You told me a story about why you started shaving your hair. There was an article about Portia de Rossi cutting off her signature locks. And I was just, oh, I was so frustrated that that was what they were talking about, was her hair and her appearance, not her talent and, you know, everything that she's done. And then like a week later, um, there was another article about Charlize Theron, how she shaved her head for Mad Max. And like, that was huge. I'm like, really? <laughs> and so I was sitting at work one day and I just, it was like, bam, I need to shave my head. I was planning on doing an artist talk um, at, for this program that was held at the brewery and nobody knew I was going to do it. Between the time I first thought about it and the time it happened, I could not wait. I was like, I just, I wanted it done. The barber... I was sitting in her chair and 
you know, we were just talking and she's like, so what do you want to do with your hair? And I'm like, oh, I don't know. And I was reading magazines and I'm like, you know, I'm so tired of, you know, all of these magazines talking about people's appearance. I'm like, you know, let's just shave my head. Let's just do away with it. You know, I don't want us to be, um, I don't want people to be defined by their, how they look, by their body, by their physical attributes. What if we could be free of that? And so I'm like, let's shave it. And she's like, really? And the audience, they were like, oh my God, do it, do it. Afterwards, like I held a mirror up and I was glowing. Like it was, I felt it was the most freeing thing I've ever done. And I said um, that I would keep it shaved until things change, which will not be in my lifetime. So, I mean, I'm planning on, you know, keeping it short. Thank You're you welcome. So Thank you. Thank you so much for joining us again. Please make sure you check Christine out. She has incredible work. Like the video, share with your friends, and we're going to see each other again soon. Thank you.